of our last question. Politics is about who gets what, when, and how. Politics is also about understanding your opponents. We hear a lot of negative campaigning. Let's turn things around. Why would you vote for your opponents? First, let me speak with you to come on your <laughs> Why would I vote for my opponent? <laughs> I might vote for them if I, if I wasn't running. <laughs> but uh, bottom line is, look, uh, I have to state this publicly before you, even with these ads that have come out on TV and, um, and on print. In fact, today I've contacted and I was able to trace down those who have done that, at least on TV, and demanded that it be stopped. That's not what this campaign should be about. But I respect the congressman. I respect uh, Frank Duggan. We're basically two men, those two and, and Mike and I, that have put ourselves before the people of Guam to decide. And, and ultimately, they will decide which of these two teams will serve the people of Guam. Uh, I have to just commend anybody that's willing to step up to the plate and offer themselves uh, as candidates because it is a very uh, intense and grueling process that uh, that we and our families have to go through. And I know there's a lot of passion on both sides, and there's a lot of belief in each team, and, and people are encouraging others to, to support each of each team. But uh, any candidate that has stepped up to governor has my full respect. Mike, do you want to add anything to this? Absolutely. The fact is, and I'm going to confess now, is that I did vote for our opponent. And uh, I, I supported uh, Dr. Underwood. I've always been in, in nothing but admiration for him when, when I was one of the students in the GW. And although I, I, I realize that he's running now, what I've seen in the last four years was a improvement here in Guam that has made, there's been a major change. And as bad as it was three and a half years ago, things are better today than they were three and a half years ago. I think that's undeniable. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Is there a lot more that needs to be done? Absolutely. And so I think at this point that to change leaders in the middle of a race, just like it is to change horses in their race, is not a good thing. And so I did support the, uh, the congressman the other way and have nothing but admiration for him and his partner. Thank you. Thank you very much. 